Hello, I'm Jenny Moncaster and I'm on a bit of a mission to get the nation painting, this time with acrylics. And I've got a really lovely little step-by-step -step project to show you. So even if you haven't picked up a paintbrush since school, I think you're gonna love having a go with this and you're gonna be so pleased with the results. I think you'd be gonna be rushing out to buy yourself a frame to put it in and hang it on the wall, I promise you. So what am I using to paint with? Well, I've got some brushes, but I've also got some wooden barbecue sticks, some paper straws, an old toothbrush, uh, some cardboard strips, and I'm even gonna be using my fingers, old school. So let's get stuck in a simple flower meadow using simply acrylic. I've taped my paper down to keep it flat while I'm working. And I'm starting off with two colours, light blue and medium green, a little of each on my plate. I've got a soft flat brush, dip it into some clean water and give my paper a good wash of water all over. And then into the blue paint to create my sky, leaving a little white in the middle for cloud effect. And while the paint is still wet, I'm using a little bit of kitchen towel to blend and soften that cloud effect. And now let's take some green, starting from the bottom, working up to blend through into the blue. I like to take that green right up to the edges, kind of like in a semicircle, and use the flat edge of my brush to create the effect of foliage and grass. Now this is really quite rough at this stage. I'm not after perfection, just some nice movement and a bit of blending through. Now for some dark green and a smaller brush. This is my flat shader and I'm going to create a new darker layer. Again, this is quite rough at this stage, Flip the brush from one side to the other, creating a blocky patchwork pattern, allowing the lighter green to show through underneath. And then use the tip of the brush to get lighter and finer marks as you reach up to the sky. So, bold and heavier in the foreground, fading away into the distance where the foliage meets the sky. And remember to leave some gaps. Now for the cardboard strips. You'll notice one side there's a corrugated wiggly pattern and on the other a linear pattern of straight lines. We're not going to use the wiggly pattern, just the straight edge. And put some paint on. It makes a fantastic printing tool to create the effect of grasses and stems and just keep loading up with paint and print away. Just vary the direction slightly to create lots of lovely movement. another layer, this time in neon yellow. You could use any colour you fancy, but I absolutely love this one for real contrast. A fresh piece of cardboard, and same as before, building up the effect of the meadow grasses and stems.
time to add some flowers. I'm going in with the red. No brushes involved for this. I'm using these for a bit of fingerprinting. Perfect tool, just the right size. Violet next, and a paper straw cut down, and I'm going to use that end for printing. Dip it in, and just make sure I haven't got too much on. This is really good for creating different shaped flower heads, like these foxgloves. lighter pink and more flowers using my finger to print with again. Magenta, love that colour. This time to add more colour and depth those fox gloves. And a few more flowers in the foreground as well. Can't help myself. Mix up a lighter violet using white and a clean straw. Another layer of printing to give those fox gloves just a little bit more definition. Yellow, gotta have some yellow flowers in that flower meadow. Time for my barbecue stick. This end will make a really good tool to print with to create smaller flowers. Just dip it in and print away any colours that you like. And just keep going using all of these techniques to create your flower meadow with as much colour and variety as you like. It's so much fun bringing it all together. my old toothbrush now for some finishing touches. Dip it in a bit of water and some paint and just give a practice flick away from your artwork, pulling your fingers through the bristles and simply flick 
and spatter for a really good effect. finished. Simple techniques using simply acrylic to create a hazy summer's day amongst the flowers in a meadow absolutely bursting with colour.